Three and a half pounds have made a difference in my setup and cleared my signal at big time over eight thousands. I'm sounding wow, Reynolds style as you speak. There you go. Hey, that's awesome, Chris Lee. We're gonna start the show just like that. Chris Lee got a whoo nine thousands for the win. So it's a lot of money right there, man. He, uh, you guys always ask, are 8,000s, 6,000s, or 9,000s better? Chris Lee right there is your answer. It gets a glowing review from Paris, Tennessee. Yeah. Says, my 9,000s cleared everything up and makes it sound amazing. <sighs> mo' money, mo' money, mo' money. How much can I get? Can I get a wing? I got 25 cents. Uh, good five channel amp. I need to shave. Uh, there's a lot of good it's five lot. channel amps. It's a lot of five um, channel amps. So really what it comes down to is what you're trying to do is whether or not you need a five channel amp. Most five channel amps, and we're just gonna start out apparently, we're not even gonna like say, hey, how's it going, do shout outs. We're just gonna start out with what's a good five channel amp. If you're gonna go with a five channel amp, you have to decide how much power you're gonna be putting on your subwoofer because that's the determining factor. Um, most five channel amps are sub 500 watts. A couple of them are over, but most are sub 500 watts. So mm -hmm. if that is cool, like you're just gonna do like four awesome mids and highs, and then, you know, three to 500 watts in the sub, which is usually good for two tens, mm -hmm. then, you know, most 500 watts that are six or $700 or above are gonna do that. Now, if you're wanting like a thousand watts for the sub on the fifth channel because you're gonna really pound, then it's better off to go with a four channel and a mono block. Yeah. Two of my favorite combinations there, of course, are the T404, T750.1, the audio control, 4.800 and 1.800. Another amplifier to consider as far as the five channel goes, it was super impressive, was the Focal. Focal makes a six channel amp, and what's nice. cool about it is channels five and six Unlike most four channel or five channel paired stereo amplifiers, when you bridge them, four ohm is as low as they go. Their amplifier, when you bridge five and six, will do a two ohm load. So they did some tomfoolery inside there to fool the amplifier and make it run better. But that'll get you that 500 watts for that. If you're just looking for a straight five channel amp, um, honestly, the 61200 is nice bridged as a five yeah. channel amp. Or Check out audio control. Hey Dean, loud and clear as well as Soundscape closed here in Dallas, Fort Worth. I know they were two of your recommendations. I know, we're working yeah. on it. Actually, Johnny, who is on Instagram a lot, I talked to him this week. He is working at a new store in Palo Alto? Or I don't know. I, yeah. I'm gonna screw it up because I honestly don't know. But, but I'll get the information on that. Uh, off the top of my head, let me, let me talk to him later this week. Ask me and I'll find out. Maybe we'll get him on the show. Yeah. Uh, he'll say hi and he can tell us where he's at. Uh, do you know what? Um, um, oh, wow. Audio art. What is it? Audio art? Art. art Arturo. Art. Well, yeah, Arturo. But what's uh, the name of it? What's art? he on? Uh, audio art. by Art. Audio by Art. Check out Instagram. Audio by Art. Audio by Art. Like he said, I'm going to repeat it because that's what you do when you want to reiterate things. <laughs> um, he's in Texas too. He's a great guy. Awesome guy. Uh, does amazing work. So you mm -hmm. might want to check him out. Yeah. I spent a lot. I spent like two and a half, three hours talking with him in Dallas. Really? Oh, yeah, dude, he's, he's, he's a good guy. Yeah. 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 Like, uh, I felt like the Godfather that night. They kept waiting to like come and sit down and talk with yeah, me. Yeah, it was yeah, the strangest yeah. thing ever. It's You're like, like Santa Claus. Yeah. My it turn. was like it, was like, <laughs> it started with Jeff Smith, and then it was Lance, mm -hmm. and then uh, Lance Doss, and then Arturo came and sat down, and then finally it was like uh, it's, it's six hours later. And then uh, Ricardo came. No. Yes. Yeah. I actually came over to the two of you. Big Macs or Whoppers? Which ones do you like? Uh, none. When uh, I uh, ate meat, no, no, uh, no, red no. meat, I preferred the Big Mac. But this is a Coke. That's not a sangria. It's close. I like Where sangria. Where is your store located? We are in Clearwater, Florida on Gulf de Bay, right across from the original Hooters. If you Google the original Hooters, we're across the street. You could sit in that fine dining establishment and go, hey, there's Five Star. And we'll be like, hey, there's the guy. That's the guy. Uh, can you recommend a installer in SoCal? Southern California. Mm, man. Off the top of my head, no. Man, I know. It's one of those things. We want, we'd want. we love to put together a list of guys that we know but and it's trust. Car Gift. That's up, man. But uh, if you're in Portugal, well, here you go. You can see Car Gift. Lewis. Car gift. Yeah. 
Cause... Shout out to Jeff Smith. Yes, he's a shout legend. Shout out to Jeff Smith. Why? All Why right. does Jeff Smith get a shout? I'm just kidding. So for those of you guys that are in industry and you haven't found out yet, Knowledge Fest Dallas has yet again, or like all Knowledge Fest, has been postponed or delayed or supposedly now is going to happen sometime in the end of September. Mm -hmm. If it does, and I just say if it does, we're going to be there. Top. Um, and we might have something really cool planned. Like we're working on something really cool that I wanted to do last year. And if we get the idea, I have no idea what our labor rates are, man. Um, no idea. You'd have to call Paul. No, get a call. Yeah, I have no idea. We don't. We don't talk. That's we're install. He's pricing. Yep. Um, but we have something that we want to do uh, with a manufacturer that we're super excited about. That'll be like, I don't know. I think it'll be neat and annoying for us, but really cool for you guys. So <laughs> that's gonna be crazy. Um, it'll be cool. Is the Terra 3K smart uh, amp any good? Was going to run two American. I. We've installed one Terra amp. Yeah, and thank you for the $5, man. Thank you for the $5, Ken. We've installed one that was a customer's, mm -hmm. and he had it on two JL 10W7s, or 11W7s, uh, or whatever those were. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it pounded the hell out of them, and he hasn't been back. No, so, so I'm assuming it's good. I guess that means it worked really well. However... What's up, Pedro? New Jersey. Because we like them and we have tested it, this is the Sound Digital Amp. This, of course, is the prototype we just did a video review on. If you have an opportunity, check it out. Mm -hmm. This thing is a beast. There's no question about it. And, of course, the 5000 is sitting right there. They make two different ones. The so band, this is what the kind Evo of? X. One ohm, two ohm. This is the, this is the, the one, one ohm. ohm. Yep. So just check what are you actually looking for. All right. I have a 2018 Tundra and want to put... Just the three inch and tweeters with the crossovers from Focal Access three way set. In the dash, what are your thoughts on that? How much power would you put in them? Hey, Fro. What's that, Jason? I like the Tom Brady. What? You know, there would have to be a pandemic and no football because we get a good quarterback. Dude, I, I, apparently I heard. Maybe it's, it's, it's just fake news, but. Um, they sold out. What do you mean? The tickets. Oh, I'm for sure. Tampa Bay. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, out. what? Oh, why wouldn't they? All right. What? Well, did you answer the question? No, no, no. Like, question. what are you? I wasn't listening. Oh, okay. So let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, here so you go. Oh, before you read, before you read, uh, there, uh, uh, uh Jahas, uh, uh, I'm killing your name. I have a Teramp MD 8K. How many batteries? Um, the biggest batteries you can get. Is, is the size of the battery is going to dictate how many batteries you can get because there are different sizes. Like uh, Stinger makes like a 2250. I think they even have a bigger one. Like if you got one of those, I mean, it's it's like this big. That would probably be enough. However, if you can't fit something that big, well, then you're going to have to get multiple smaller batteries. Um, I'm not into lithium batteries. However, I know there's a lot of guys that are. You may want to check into those. I know Big D Wiz and uh, Vega, Hi-Fi uh -huh. Vega, have have videos where they've talked about those, where they've made those to get the cool little power caps. Uh -huh. You may want to check into those. Otherwise, you know, we just do regular batteries. All right, All right so let's try again. Yes. Uh, 2018 Tundra, you want to put the three inch and the Twitter with a crossover from Focal, the Access three-way set. Uh, how much power would you put in them? Well, well we, first off, let's just start with it's going to be difficult. That three and a half is not going to drop right into the dash. You're yeah. going to have to do some modifications to it. Mm -hmm. um, it just doesn't go boom. Hey, cool. Not at all. Uh, it, you're going to have to router the hole out bigger and make new mounting brackets. You're going to have to smooth out the grill because uh, there's a lip on there. You have to remove all that. So with that being said, if you're prepared for that, Power-wise, typically we run anywhere between 125 to 150 watts on that three-way set. So you think this the 61200 will be good for that three-way set? The 612? No, you can do the 4200. That's 125 aside. Okay. 
I, I mean, mean no, we've I mean, done we've done a couple different no, things. No, no, no. I was thinking just active. Go active. Oh, we're going active. No, no, no. But he said he want to use the crossover. So my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that was mm -hmm. gonna say. So we've done on on that. We've done. We've actually taken the 901. Mm -hmm. 90, actually, when it was the 900.5, the Exelon 9, XR 900.5. Yep. And bridge channels one and two to mm -hmm. a set of access and a Tundra. Yep. We've also used the Morel the five Morel. channel. I like that one. Like um, that one. Bridge that to a two channel yep. amp. That one actually sounded the best, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, which you could get away with going with their four channel and bridging mm -hmm. it to a two channel and be a full AB class. Yep. It'd be about 110 watts. Was perfect for a set of access and sounded amazing in the front of a Tundra. Um, we've also done, obviously, the Kenwood DSP amplifier when we oh, yeah. did the JBL system, yeah, yeah, yeah. which we bridged. Uh, that didn't work out the best. I, I didn't like the way that sounded. It just, <laughs> uh, we've done the, the audio control, as we said, um, and then we've done an Alpine. Yep, yep. So yeah. plenty of amplifiers out there. Big props for the Focal, uh, for the Morel though, because oh, yeah. it's reasonably priced and it's AB. Ooh, sounds, sounds that was good. good. What's up, Oscar, Jose, and El Fernandez? What's up, What's man? What's up, El Fernandez? Peace um, of mind. Uh, who makes it, dude? I tell you, that's the that's who makes the ultimate pizza. No idea. There's two that I really like though. If we're gonna go there, one, uh, California Pizza Kitchen, love their pizza, and two, there's a an Ita Italy at mm -hmm. Epcot. They have a pizza place there that everyone there is Italian. They import the water. It, dude, they make this mezzoplex pizza, which is like it's about this, it's gigantic, and we kill it. Oh my god, I like coal fire pizza. And right. if they actually use wood, it's even better. Oh, really? Yeah. Somebody said I bought a whole... Whole leaf battery. Leaf battery. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Me too, great white. Yep. Hola, Fernando. Hey. I have a Mazda 6 2018. Did you install any upgrades for this model? 2018? I, I don't think we have. No, not, not in the 2018. We, I, I don't think we have. But uh, if you have the both system... Um, the Ampro works with that one? No, because it's a Mazda. Why would it? That's a Ford. Yeah, but it's not Ford. Remember, we, we did the yeah. whole thing. Okay. No, Calzones aren't better. Sorry, Bob, we're going to have to disagree with you on that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, if you're not, definitely you can upgrade amplifier speakers. Can uh, I get more power from my T750.1 if I use 4 gauge? No. No. It's just no, it's 900 watt amp. You're going to get what you get. Unless if you actually using CCA wire. Yeah. You know? No bows. If it's no, no bows, bows, then it should be four channel, which is kind of nice. We're back to the Mazda 6. Yep. It should be four channels of output, uh, front, rear, mm -hmm. which is great. Uh, from that, as long as there's no ANC to worry about, which is automatic noise canceling, which more than likely it doesn't have bows, so. it probably doesn't have that. Yeah. I would just go into some form of a DSP. Mm -hmm and then do whatever you want. A DSP makes life better. Um, something with a DSP built into it, depending on how crazy you want to get. Obviously, Audison has DSP built into it. Audio Control has DSP built into it. Arc has DSP built into it. Yep. There's a slew of quality amplifiers with yes. DSPs built yeah. into them. Um, or just get a DSP standalone and go crazy. And go that. crazy with any amps. Yep. How is the sound digital amps? We had nothing but great success with them, yeah. so I'm gonna give them two thumbs up. Yeah, definitely. Get yeah. to be seen. Obviously, if time goes on, we'll have some more fun with them. Uh, the 5K that we, you know, if you saw the video when we did the 5K and the 3K this week, um, you know, we were having fun with a lot of the. Let's let's yeah. talk about this for a minute. Hold your questions. Um, so when we got that 62, whatever, 162, whatever, okay, we were not able to replicate that. If you caught the Instagram show that we did immediately after that, we even talked about it. Mm -hmm. uh, we left it in the video because we wanted to see how many of you guys were paying attention. Mm -hmm. uh, true fans, you know, the guys that watch everything we do or caught both the shows. Mm -hmm. uh, would, would have, And most of you did. There's some of you that didn't, and it's probably not the you that are watching, it's we, so we can talk about them. Um, but yeah, it was funny. It, I mean, it happened. Uh, it was cool. We had a good time. And the whole purpose of that was for us to have a good time. You know, someone's like, you need batteries. And it's like, no, we actually don't need batteries because we can do whatever we want, just like anyone else out there. And uh, we weren't planning on putting it in there for an extended period of time. We were just having it in there to have some fun with it and beat the shit out of it. And we did. 
And the other thing too is we also know that most people that buy these things don't know yep. what they're doing. They just say, oh, I got a 5,000 watt amp and put it in their car and they don't run batteries to them no. until it's too late. So we wanted to see it. We wanted to try to break it to make it better for you, the yeah. end user. So yeah, should we have had batteries? Oh God, yeah, we should have had a full oh, battery totally. bank. Yes. And, I mean, we had actually talked about that and I made the decision at the last minute to go, no, we're not gonna do batteries because chances are some kid's gonna buy this amp, put it in his car, run a zero gauge and think it's gonna work great. Yeah. Yep. It's like, no, it's not. You but it, called, it played. You should go Magman, you know, and just alternator, yeah. four by these. Well, that's Ooh. if you have the 30,000 <laughs> watt version of the amplifier. You totally so, want one. <laughs> number one stalker. Yes, Bobby. Uh, 150 bucks, by the way. Shit. All right. Um, so I have a 2001 Lexus GS430. This person sold me a six and a half component speakers and I find out it's a four inch speaker. Ooh, is there yes. a bracket to make it work? Ooh, there is isn't a bracket work. that somebody makes, but you could pop, pop what? This is gonna die. Oh yeah, get the, I'll get, I'll get it. You could, Yeah. I was gonna say, you don't know where it's at. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's in there. Pockets. Yeah. Um, no, there is no viable bracket for that, but you I can plug it in right here. You don't have to. Okay. I got it. You you would have to make one. Um actually Yeah, you'd have to make one. I think Yeah. If I think that was the car that actually I did a video on. That was like the first video where we ever made a bracket for. It might be that car. Six and a half? Oof, man. Yeah, Six no, it might have been like a four to six and a half. If you have the room. Uh also, if you're really wanting to know more about um and this is purely fun. If you really want to know about uh, aluminum wire CCA, ask Hi-Fi Vega. Because he felt the need to run CCA wire in his build, so... He's, he, you know, he was doing it for fun. But uh, harass the shit out of him for it. I, I'm know. all for it. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm installing a, in a Pacifica 2019. Came across with a wire problem diagram for the speaker plug. Our... The polarity inver invert it? inverted 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 okay. yes had to switch positive negative and each speaker will be a problem when installing a AP uh, CH forty one. Um no, so it, it's not. Keep in mind, if if the car will take the CH forty one, run the CH forty one. They they should also make the plug for it too because they they make plugs that go into there. Now, they might not make it for 2019. I totally understand that. However, keep in mind, if everything pops red, it's fine. If everything pops green, it's fine. Where this becomes an issue is with the Bluetooth mics, and this is something we've, we've had before, where all the speakers popped red, and we switched them all to green, and then they got an echo in their Bluetooth mic because they were read to be out of polarity with the mic so that it would cancel out any echo effect. So if they all pop red, leave them red. Don't mm -hmm. switch them to green, yeah. okay? It's probably like that for a reason. And most Chryslers, they all pop red. So just leave them alone, let them do their thing. Mm -hmm. It's okay, it won't affect nothing. Maybe uh. the sub, so put the subs right. Dean, I'm having a calzone next Tuesday for my birthday. Now, if I get a calzone, I straight up get an original calzone. So it's just uh, cheese and ham. Because that's how calzones, I've always had them with ham. Yeah. But yeah. that's it. That's all oh I, I just get. I get ham. It tastes too big, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just like if you want to feel like death when you're yeah. done. Like, oh, my God. Oh, I'm just going to go over here and hit a corner. Uh, would you guys make me a Twitter adapters for my Tundra? I live in Tampa. I swing by and grab them. Um, Swing by and bring the tweeter with you. Yes. <laughs> and the speaker, so we know which one to do because Toyotas, uh, even Tundras, we have about 15 different Toyota front mm -hmm. dash speakers. Yep. Brackets. So we would need the bracket, we'd need the speaker and the tweeter. Yep. That is correct. Hey guys, hey guys, take it easy. Oh, hold on. Where'd it go? Dang it. It was an easy one too, and I screwed it up. All right, go ahead. Right, that one, that one. Good evening, gentlemen. Please. Forgive me troubling you trying to make the appointment, but no one picks the phone. That is you? so weird. Yeah. Because, I mean, the phone rings all day. All day. I mean, all, and I only say that because I'm over there. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, I don't know. I'm sorry, man. I mean... Like I can tell you right now, we're booking for August. 
Um, but well, yes. I mean, I'll, I'll, I, I don't know. This week I didn't get to call anybody back, Great so shirt. I felt bad. God, copper clad awfulness. <laughs> That's yeah, a good one, Robert. Uh, it was one sixty two point three. Like you said, we had it hit it once. Yep. Yep. And it never hit it again. It never even came close. Yeah. Uh, could have been just that one base, battery fresh. Boom. Here you go. I doubt it. I don't I know. doubt that it. That was crazy. I honestly think the meter sucks. And then somebody you just like drop it and push the button so they didn't even take the picture, man. And I was like, come on, seriously? Uh, any calls on. <laughs> uh, six by nines in real deck to enclose them or not amplified fell cows. Do not. Do not enclose them. They're free air. Let them run. Let the puppies breathe. Let the puppies breathe. All right. Why the speaker make a pop sound? when the head unit turns on or I change the source. Ooh, that's a sucky one because that could be almost anything. That could be, more than likely it's a ground. Oh, perfect, all right, well, we'll, we'll figure it out next week. Um, more than likely it's a ground somewhere, but okay. it could be a ground and the RCA is bad. If you have amplifiers, if you don't have amplifiers, and there's probably something grounded wrong inside the radio, or you have a situation where you don't have a good ground for the radio and it might be getting a ground from the antenna, uh, that happens too. But it, it's, it's one of those really bad things that happens once in a blue moon, and it's either a piece of bad equipment or a bad ground that might be the bad equipment. Um, or maybe you have an EQ? And that makes the but it's the source unit so typically that's coming from the head unit from the head unit yeah hmm. yeah that's a lot of things all right hold on what is what is chris going not sure if you saw it we did see your first post we yep. opened the show saying how great it was that yep. you got your nine thousands chris over your eight thousands yeah, yeah so there you go uh how oh hold on i wanted to go to this one sorry how would i set the gains with a dd1 if i don't have high zamp so basically how can i set the gains if i can't disconnect the speakers because i only have a bass amp that is a fun question to look at now what could you possibly do well first things first my guess is you're going to want to start with the volume at two-thirds the way up and you're just going to have to pick that because where you're not you're using your deck power your deck power does not play all the way up so you're going to start with it down to where it starts to distort. So the first thing to do is turn your volume up until your mids and highs start to distort. And that's it. That's as loud as it's going to get. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you can grab your DD1 and you're going to go to, you're, you don't have to do the zero dB track because you know where your radio sucks at. So you've, 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 you've accomplished that. Boom. Go to the negative five or go to the negative 10, whichever one you prefer, and mm -hmm. play it. Remember, that's negative five or 10 dB. So here's zero, this is five dB's less, this is 10 dB's less. You have little tiny speakers that will not play 40 hertz for nothing. Meaning they're gonna be like mm -hmm. Because they're not designed to. So playing that 40 hertz test track is not gonna hurt them at all, especially at negative five or negative 10. So just hop in there, do your thing. Obviously don't sit there and camp out for hours, literally adjusting it. Uh, you can have someone sit in the front seat, turn it up to whatever number it is, set your gain, should take all of 30 seconds, turn it back down. Your speakers won't be making very much noise because at 40, at 40 hertz, at negative 10, the ohm load that your speaker is actually seeing or, or, or registering in that amplifier, they may be getting a watt if you're lucky so it's not gonna hurt him. All right. Um, I just purchased a GZDM from you guys, but I wonder will be okay. That will be enough for the 2007 Tundra Crew Max front doors <laughs> and that's for the REW and the UMI recommendation. So uh, we just did a yes. Tundra yeah. on Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. Or Tuesday the and Tundra is, is big. It Those is big. doors are big. So what I actually recommend you is start focusing the in the part or the speaker. Go in the back, go in the front, and then whatever is, is left over, start, you can fill start, it up. Start from the hinge, 
this way on so both sides. Speaker here. But you got pretty good coverage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got mean, pretty you good pretty coverage. much almost covered the whole door. Almost. Well, yeah. we did the rear door, so we had yeah. some leftovers from the rear door that we were able to put on the front Correct. door. Correct, yes. Yeah, uh, okay. But, yeah. And from the foam... Uh, concentrate just, just on the that side. Concentrate on the speaker side and, like, in the bottom Yeah, side, it was pretty I'd good. Say. So, was you'll pretty be good. okay. I mean, I think we got, like, 80... About 80% coverage? 80%. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty nice. Uh, what you'll see in the new kit that's coming to you is that there's two pieces of aluminum. Yes. Okay, there's two sheets of aluminum now. So like the kit we did the review on, hey, it's changed. They came out with a new one already. <laughs> Yay. But don't worry, we filmed another video that we kind of talk about it all, but it won't be out in time for you to have that. What you do with the two pieces of aluminum there is you, you put them behind, you cut them into strips obviously and that goes on first behind the speaker okay and then there's another piece of butyl with the aluminum back that'll go over that mm -hmm. and then they have new foam yep. that's going to go over that so essentially what we're talking about is a three decker sandwich is going to go behind the speaker mm -hmm. okay so that's what that's for and you'll once you get it you'll be like what is he i know now you're going i don't know what he's talking about oh god don't worry when you'll get it you know what i'm talking about my son recently asked me to install an amp and sub, a head unit in his car. He has a 16, doesn't have a lot of money, so, uh, so we chose an amp I have never heard of. JC Power. Oh, God, I've never heard never of that heard either. Never either. <laughs> that makes two of us take luck, my friend, and let us know yeah. how it goes. Yeah. Any ideas if this was a decent choice? I, okay, yeah, I've never heard of the company. Yeah, good, good call. Uh, does new concept have good RCAs? I've never played with the new concepts. I've only talked with the guy like once. Um, I don't know. Maybe. How can I reduce clipping? Turn the volume on the turn. Turn the amp down. The turn game. the turn the volume on the amp down. Turn the gain on the amp down. Uh, uh, that's I mean, that's what it is. It's too much volume. It's the one thing you can control in the audio system is the volume. Um, there's two types of two types of clipping that that we we deal with uh one is a recorded clipping mm -hmm. meaning you have a crappy source like youtube where the music is just actually recorded clipped and it's playing that crap back we see that a lot um it's just kind of humorous it's like dude could you just maybe get spotify pandora i don't know apple music something that doesn't suck Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, there's the one that you, you as the user, totally control. Your gain and your volume knob. You know, it's real simple. This, this, is, this is it. This is the big secret. If it's not loud enough, you can't make it louder. That's it. A 500-watt amp is a 500-watt amp is a 500-watt amp. It will never be a 1,000-watt amp. If you've set the gain structure properly and your volume knob is proper and you turn it up and it's not loud enough, you need a thousand watt amp. More power. That's it. More power. More power. Woohoo! What's up, Lalo? I know, and it costs money. Don't get me wrong. It's the money aside. It's like if, but you know, we're in this society where we we, we feel we're entitled to a thousand watt amp, even though we have a five hundred watt amp. So we we expect that amp to be five a thousand watts, and it never will. All right, I'm gonna read this one because he's yelling at me. Okay. Right there. Hang on. Which one is this one? Just read it. It's on right there. here. Right here. Right here. Okay. What's the best V V A M unit to use for my U connect? What is a VIM unit? BIM? Video interface module? I don't know. Maybe? Pack, if they make one. If they don't. I mean, there's only so many companies that make modules. You have Pack, which is our number one go-to for most modules like that. Uh, IData, I'm, if, if you're replacing your radio. Um, Nav TV, if they make something for it. And then you have Metra. That's it. That's all there is. You know, that's... that's all right. That's hey, all we Mr. Got. Dean. Hi, how you doing? On the factory Toyota deck, where do you get the remote? You don't. There is no remote on a factory Toyota deck. Uh, we have a video up where we talk about uh, finding an accessory wire. Uh, you could search, probably look for, um, what's it called? TR, TR4. TR4. There's a TR4. There's a Ignition ING3. Ignition 3. Uh, and both of what those are designed to do is to, they, they, the end result is the same. They create an accessory for you to turn on your amplifiers. However, 
most amplifiers, most DSPs, now have a feature called DC offset, which we've talked about a lot. And um, we have videos, I think, like if you go back and watch the kicker key, oh, key okay. amp, uh, yeah, or yeah. key lock, we talk about DC offset. Oh, video and video motion. Video motion. Uh, um, Nav TV is Nav the only, TV. Uh, Nav TV is it. NavTV.com, check it out if one, they don't make one. Don't buy anything else because you won't like it. Right. Um, <laughs> exactly, Axe, man. Um, Anyways, DC offset is is what it is. It's looking for the small DC six volt carrier wave that usually comes out of the radio uh -huh. and will turn on your system. If you don't have an accessory, meaning a, it's something that turns on and off with the key, then you have to use something like that. You have a Toyota though, so another good wire to use is the like if you have no option, like there's not one behind the radio, an accessory then you can use the cigarette lighter as an accessory but there is no remote turn on and that's okay because most remote turn ons nowadays like don't do what they're they they have to they do all kinds of strange mm -hmm. things they don't turn on and off with the radio they stay on with the radio because of chimes and bluetooth and backup sensors and all this other fun stuff so you just need something that turns on with the car and turns off with the car. Yeah. And it might not even turn off with the car. It might take three minutes to turn off before the car because the car might actually keep the remote turn on turned on because it needs to be on. And then even data modules that have remote turn on output like Amp Pros and DSR1s for AR, they, as soon as you unlock the car, turn on the remote turn on because they're expecting, you know, door chimes and other actions to happen. So you just need something. All right. Uh, bye, car gift. See you, man. Um, JR Alcaraz, $9.99. Thank you. My speakers pop when I use my navigation. Ooh. When it tells me where to turn using CarPlay with my iPhone. That's the only time it pops? Hmm. God, I hate to say this, but I would check for a software update. I mean, I know that's kind of like the go-to answer for everything nowadays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you check the Did you check the firmware update? Yeah. But seriously, something like that is either a firmware update or something wrong with the unit. Yeah. I would try, the other thing you could try too, and this is what, I, it's the most obvious thing that, that people often overlook, borrow somebody else's phone. Yeah, try that. I mean, a loved one, a family, a friend, just be like, you're at work. Hey bro, can we take, I'll drive you to work, can we use your phone? Uh, can I plug your phone into my CarPlay? Because okay. that's the great thing about CarPlay, you just plug it in and it works. Um, I think like last week, somebody said if we have any problems with CarPlay. Uh, I don't know if you're the firmware update that they just make. Make oh, something. Yeah, the, the, the point one. The, the, uh, yeah, this this current. I don't know, man. So does sub box size play a big role in boom? Yes. Oh. Yes, it does. It does a lot. A lot, a lot. Yeah, the size of the box matters, a hundred percent. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> what the heck, man? Somebody, uh, Nando, find some new old stock audio band components on ebay i'm holding back <laughs> hold back yeah unless they have the heroin inside of them in which case Probably mm, buy it. i don't know man <laughs> it's okay i have two alpine r type 12s what should i use for an amplifier um they're about 500 watts a piece so find a nice thousand watt amplifier put them on there and call it a day put it in a ported enclosure they'll sound wonderful uh lc 1.800 there you go perfect choice perfect choice uh, what's up, Dina Fernando? Watching from Guam. Wow. Dang. Thank you there for you watching. Go. Thank you Thank for watching. Thank you so much. Say yeah. hi to the guy sitting next to you. Either one. Go ahead. Be like, hey, they, these guys said to say hi. Um, All right. Have you have you watched any of the Gordon Ramsay stuff? Um, the, the Uncharted? No. Where he, dry, where he goes yeah, around yeah, yeah, to different yeah, countries? Yeah, I, 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 not like a, the whole thing. I can't yes. watch Gordon Ramsay like Hell's Kitchen type stuff. Yeah. I can't do that, but... Watching him travel around and go to all the, because I, I love Gordon Ramsay. I think he's a, he, he's I think he's cool as hell. Um, this is disgusting. That's why I love him. That's why I love him. <laughs> you know, my wife goes, "You're like the car, you're like the car yeah, of Gordon yeah. Ramsay. You that's, know that's that, right?" Much, yeah. And yeah. I'm like, that's right. "You guys don't know that because you never get to see that in the recordings." But oh yeah, I do. He does um, every day. <laughs> uh, 
I, I, I just, on, uh, if you haven't caught it, it's on it's on uh, Disney Plus and then on Hulu, of course. It's an awesome show, man. There's like six episodes, so it's perfect. Um, okay, any recommendations on a four gauge amp kit? We use Stinger everything, um, but that doesn't mean it's you, new concept makes nice wire. Amplifier manufacturers also make really nice wire, and in some cases, when you buy their wire kit, you get an extended warranty. Mm -hmm. So that's also something to think about. Like I know both Kicker and Rockford and Phoenix Gold, when you buy Stinger, uh, extend the warranty of the amplifier, so that's kind of nice. All right, I have the one over here. This is like, all right. You find it? Yes, right. I have a four channel going into the Dayton DSP 4.8. Yep. And a 2017 F-150. Which channel should I map to the output to my sub amplifier? Also, do the low generator need to be added? I mean the low resistors, I'm guessing. Uh, even if I use a DSP. That's it. Okay, so the question is, first off, use the Dayton DSP. Why? But that's not the question. The question is, I have a Ford. F-150, I'm going high level out of my factory radio, mm -hmm. so that's going to be four channel out into a DSP. We'll just say that to keep it civil. Okay. What channel should I map to you to feed my subwoofer? So when you're setting up a DSP, you have to tell it, like you have six channels out, eight channels out, whatever you have, you have to say... Uh, channel 7 and 8 need to look to channels inputs 1 and 2 in order to feed it the signal because it doesn't know. That's part of the process of setting up a DSP. In the F-150, use channels 1 and 2 to map into the sub-channel. Those two are going to have the, the widest frequency response, meaning they're going to they're gonna play lower than they do in the rear. Uh, the rear does have a low-pass, uh, uh, well, low-pass, high-pass crossover on it stopping them from playing deep because it's a smaller speaker. So you want to use the front speakers as the feed for the subwoofers. The second part of the question was, should I use load resistors on my F-150? And the answer to that is yes. Pick up a set of AC LGD blues. You have to have them or you could roast your tweeters. It's not anything you'll hear, but your tweeters know what's happening and you're silently cooking them to death. It's wonderful, not really. But okay, hope that answers that question. The infarts on Nando all day. That's why Nando hides the bag under the tires. Let me <laughs> tell so you they what, pop. <laughs> that is so not true. If you want to talk about the, the SBDs, this guy, oh, man, holy they Jesus, this they like thing ninjas. will kill you. Yes. I mean, oh my, God. dude. I have a guy, a friend of mine, was in the install bay the other day. He's standing over here by his workbench where you guys often see him, like when, we're, like, when we go live. Come over okay? here. And we're talking, and we go to walk out the door. I go to let him out because we lock the door. And I'm talking, and I had to stop talking and go, oh my God, which one of you just <laughs> dropped ass in here? Holy jeez. <laughs> and Fernando just starts doing that. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I'm like, oh my, I'm leaving with I'm you. I'm proud of it. Oh, it was so bad. But if you do watch The Boring Life of Dean and Haley, yeah. I did fart my last video, yeah. and Haley called it because she's like, you're going to be laughing, you're, you know, you're going to play it for us, and then you're going to be laughing, and I did exactly <laughs> that. I laughed for a good 20 minutes. All right. Uh, Chris Lee, 499. Thank you, my friend. Uh, why in the hell my king with hit unit showing distortion at 3340? Everything is flat and initialized. Any mm. ideas? Mm. No, because it shouldn't. It shouldn't. <laughs> it shouldn't. Like uh, normally, Kenwood doesn't doesn't clip. They don't at clip all. at all. Like yeah. you go or so distortion. Yeah. Um, that's a weird one. That's a weird one. Uh, if everything is off, if everything is not, but I mean, even we pulled one out of the box and just threw a DD one on it, and it's perfect. You don't you don't think like I test it on the bench, like disconnect everything. I would I would honestly. It, I mean, for me, I would, I would, I might send it back, but they'll probably come back no problem found. <laughs> yeah. um, I might try an oscilloscope and a tone generator. Okay. So pick whatever the level is, you know, like a 40, mm -hmm. and just see what frequency is causing it. That way you can, like, if you can figure out exactly what frequency is got, like a thousand hertz. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it. Um, but is it just a thousand hertz? Is it, you know, like maybe the EQ's bad? You know, so maybe 250 is fine, 500 is fine, 800 is fine, 
uh, 1.6 is fine, 2 is fine, 2.5 is fine, right. but 1K is, you know, doing right. something stupid. Right. So, mm -hmm. I would try, if you, if you have access to oscilloscope, you know, you could pick Test up the it. 211 for like 69 bucks color screen and just do a tone generator where you pay, play, you know, 31 the bands yeah. and, and figure out what, what frequency is causing it to do that. And then you could always, you know, send it in and say, hey, when I tone it, when I, you know, big lengthy thing, and f or sell it to a friend that doesn't care about this and pick up the new version of it, the six or the seven, because those are sexy. <sighs> <laughs> Fernando, go easy with the Pringles and hot sauce. Oh, dude. Hot sauce every day. Pedro Salazar, two bucks. Thank you, Thank buddy. Thank you, my friend. Hello, I have a 2003 Ford Focus with factory subwoofer. It's going, I'm replacing it. What's a good powered subwoofer that's small? Um, Hold on. I got one right here. Oh, you have one. Look at you. Rockford's going to be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> The one time Eric's not watching. This guy right here, this is the P312. This is actually the big one. They make a 10 inch version of this and they make an eight inch version of this. And if you got that hatchback, any of them will do good. They also make a wedge truck version of it. So like this one is angled mm -hmm. like this to go up against the back seat. The 10 is the same way, the eight is not. The eight is actually just perfectly flat. Um, all three of these, sound amazing actually all five of them sound amazing i was the, surprised when i hear the eight i was like you have to hear this it yeah was, i was actually like, off that day and dude. He, he, uh, the day started with dude you're not going to believe this yeah um so i would definitely check into picking one of those up now if you want to well you asked for this so yeah okay. or, or like jason you know what the the jlw3 kicker comp art i mean it's plenty also, ooh, you know what I'm also, also thinking about? Also, but wait, there's more. Uh, the Base Hub Pro from JBL. Yes. The little, uh, check out the video we did on that. It's the Base Hub Pro from JBL. It's the little 10 inch enclosure that goes in your spare tire. That it might has fit. To make, make it, uh, you have to, it has to be rocks out. We'll we tell you in the video, watch the video. It's the JBL Base Hub Pro. All right, hang on. We have a video on those too. Yeah. I, I, I guess. That's a P300. Oh, dang, dang, I, I going crazy. Not. Hang on. Thank you, thank you for the info, info guys. Oh no, I just lost it. All right, here. Yeah, thanks sorry. for the info guys. What should I use instead of the Dane and DSP? Love the channel, have learned tons. Okay. Uh, thank you for the $24.99, thank you, man. Oh, do you just wanna drop everything? Eh? I'm gonna drop everything. Um, okay. Three DSPs at three different price points that are gonna destroy each one of them that you... This one is gonna be the cheapest. This is 279. Mm -hmm. This is the only one I know the price on because it's 279. So for 279 bucks, you get four channel in, eight channel out, mm -hmm. similar to what you have now. It's all set from an iPad. So if you're using your phone, it's set from a phone too. I prefer the iPad, so you keep it. Uh, 31 band EQ instead of the shitty 10 that you have. God, that's like three cuss words this show. Yeah. I feel terrible. Maybe four. It's four. I've been keeping track in my head. Um, awesome. We have three videos on this, mm -hmm. so check that out. Secondly, the mini DSP. Now, this one I do also know the price on is $4.99. This is four channels in, six channels out. Mm -hmm. So this will give you front, rear, sub, center. Okay, yeah. so like you wanted it, because this has an up mixer built into it, so if you have that Ford and you would like to generate a center channel and you want to buy a small amp to power it, the Helix DSP Mini is pretty cool yeah. for that. Uh, it, and like I said, it's six channels, but five and six are discrete, so you can make them five yeah, sub, want. six center, any way you want. Yep. So that, and then of course the Tweak 88, somewhere between the two of these in price point. Yep. Yep. It's now, the one problem with the Tweak 88 is that it you need the fix to go in front of it, which kind of, because it, I, you know, so you'd have to use a generic high-level to low-level adapter. Well, you'd have to use a generic high-level to low-level. No, I don't have the 608. Really? No, because we just have DMA 10. Also, if you're looking for something like this, but you don't want to get, like, complicated, like, ooh, mm -hmm. um, check out... Yeah, you know, it's funny, we don't have a 608. Wow. Uh, check out the little brother 
to the audio control DM810, which mm -hmm. would be the DM608. At six in, eight out. Out of all of these, the software that this comes with is by far one of the easiest to use, okay? Um, super easy. So you can download all the softwares and yes. play with it play and with see them. which one it makes sense for you and then you can go from that. Okay. All right. Now we got... More questions? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Um, I can't believe I'm trying to... Uh, I have a 2015 CRV Turin, which has the 328 watt seven speakers with the sub, yeah. which has a better sound quality audio control or Helix. Thank you for the 666. 660s. Yes, I, you I got don't... it. I mean, when you're talking about, like I said, we just showed you the DSPs. Um, I don't know if you're gonna hear like you're talking about two high-end dsps both of those go for about the same amount of money they're both about five five plus mm -hmm. um and they both sound really really good i think like always it comes you know when you're comparing apples with apples price for price they're about the same you get a little bit more feature out of the 608 just because it's eight channels instead of six take that out of the equation I would still say download the software between the two and see which one makes sense to you mm -hmm. because you're gonna have to camp out and use this stuff and if you're like I don't get this you just wasted money on something you don't get right right DIY audio guy dude listen if you guys are not subscribed to DIY audio guy mm -hmm. you need to because man he, he puts out some awesome cool stuff, stuff. Gotta slow it down on the jump. All right, uh, what do you think about the component speakers? Hertz Mealy Legend. They're awesome. They're awesome. All right. Chris Lee, again, he's dropping the 499. I set it with the SMD DD1 and I just blank at 33. So I stop and keep going to 40. The Ooh. light goes off just by the Lumi. Okay, hold on, on, hold on. If the light just blinks for a second and goes away, keep going. Don't, that's that's nothing. So like a lot of the times you're setting a DD1, if you'll notice in some of the videos, you'll see a light come on for a second and then you keep going and then it comes on and stays on. That first one, don't pay any attention to that. That's nothing. That's just, it's just seeing an anomaly. That happens a lot. So sometimes you have to reset it? No, no, you just keep going. So if the light just blinks on and goes away, then keep going. Because that that's an anomaly in in the in the in the matrix, and you just in keep keep moving. Uh, um, PG, thank you for the five dollars, man. All right, so let me read DIY guy's question because uh, he dropped the two dollars there. I'm um, like I said, go watch yeah, this. Going. What other DSPs have up mixers for centers? Not a lot. Um, Helix has them. Helix has them. Uh, the new Virtuoso. I think Virtuoso from yeah. Audison has Madison, one. Yes. You're, see, the thing is, the DSP Mini is like the cheapest one that has an up mixer built into it. Everything else is going to be upwards of a thousand bucks that yeah. I am aware of. Mm -hmm. um, and, I mean, if you keep, don't care for the keep, price, keep in mind a two seat car mm -hmm. isn't everything to get excited about. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like, oh, this is fun. Yeah. So now you have two people that are kind of happy instead of one person that's overjoyed. So the level of happiness, the level of happiness with the DSP is let's say this high. And as the driver, when you have a one seat car, you're the happiest person in the car. It's like, yay, everything is centered for you. The music is where you want it. The instruments are doing their thing and the person's over here. And it's just like, this is a joyous occasion. When you do a two seat car, you have to bring this level of ha down so that the person sitting next to you who you don't care about can have some joy who's probably your wife and could give two poops mm -hmm. about a center image. Um, why right. it's not that important <laughs> to me. So Chris Lee actually say, I'm running the Twig ADA. Also, if it that make a difference, guys, thinking about getting the Helix Mini DSP for the extra 96 bit. Yes. So that's one of those things right there, you know. Bit depth. Yep. Uh, RC Nubster, $10, thank you. Can't wait to see you guys on Wednesday. 
2020 Explorer SD. Um, we do not sell on Amazon. Uh, uh, the DNF tool drawer just links to Amazon. Uh, we've done Jeep Liberties in the past, and that's great that your Tempo Ultra speakers sound amazing. I'm glad you took our advice. Yeah, awesome. Man. And Ismal, no, you don't, according to Fro. <laughs> um, uh, we can't, can't wait to see you, man, on Monday. 2020 Explorer is coming. Boyd, it's okay you're late. You missed the whole show, though, so we'll start from the beginning. Uh, I, right. used a dub, I used a, D, a dub link for channel converter on my F-150, but I still, it still ain't sounding loud. What's the deal? Any solutions? <laughs> power. It's just power. Power makes stuff loud. Speakers take that power and, and create loudness. You know, <laughs> it, it depends what you consider loud, okay? Like, if I sit in a car and I turn it up and I go to Fernando and I go, and he's like, because the music is loud. That to me That's is loud. loud. To some people, if they're not going like this, huh? yeah. that's loud. Yeah. So it's all relative. But power, speakers, make it loud. That's it. All right. Uh, I like Robert Van Hoy. Center, center, or left of center? <laughs> center, center. center. All center. right. Um, Chris Lee, again, $4.99. Dang, Chris. I got the Tweak 88, thinking of getting the Helix Didn't you read Pro that? 3. Okay. Higher. Subscribe to the DIY, DIY Wilson and Vega after discovering this channel. Thanks. Yeah, DIY is awesome. He does yeah. a really good job. I mean, he does his research, and I like that, because it's like he takes his time. You know, he doesn't put out as many crazy videos as we do. He doesn't do it for a living, so he's, he's a he's a... He's a guy like you guys and said, I just want to have fun and dig into it and have, and it's, it's cool stuff. Yeah. I enjoy it. Um, so then I can meet you DSP is the same way. You know, you got to download the software, play with it, see if it actually makes sense. I hate Applebee's. I'm yeah. not, not going to eat Applebee's. And the other thing too, I was going to say about DIY. Um, if you can get me, as you know, if you can get me to sit through a whole video, mm -hmm. you've accomplished something oh, amazing yeah. oh. because I don't have, as an editor, which I consider myself more an editor now than anything, um, and, and I'm not the best editor by any stretch of the imagination. I have my style that I edit videos, love or hate them, I really don't care. It's just, it's the style I do things. Um, and when, when I, I'm very picky about watching videos, and if there's a lot of mistakes that irritates, the, the, I have to stop watching it because my OCD just goes, and I'm like, I'm out! All I right. can't watch this. So, Richard, Richard Negron, uh, gentlemen, if you are planning on using the D61200, it's a DMA10. So, it has the DSP built into it. The yeah. same as the DMA10, it's in there. Yes. Yeah, makes And thank nice. you for the $10, man. Yeah, so how, the, how, those, how a lot of these amplifiers with processors built into them, the audio control, the Forza, the Arc, they all have, like... The 61200 has a has a seven channel DSP or eight channel DSP. I should has an eight channel DSP. The Forza and the Arcs are eight channels. They have nine channel DSPs. Um, and for the big secret, if you're like a Prima fan mm -hmm. and you like that Forza nine channel DSP, mm -hmm. a nine channel DSP might be for you. Check out the um, the Bitnove because the Bitnove yeah. is a nine channel DSP because it's the same DSP out of the Forza. Dude, the, sexy. now that we Anyways. talk about Addison, I, we took it out from the box last week and yes, I was ours. like, dude, they are so much powerful. Oh Small yeah. Small amplifier, the RC. Yeah. Uh, ooh, like, yeah. wow. Um, SR, by the way. Yes, SR, RC. Yeah. Eh, you know. Same. Yeah, yeah, tomato, and tomato. It's exactly, you know, 220, Phase, 221. distortion, polarity, whatever, all right. it's all the same. So, he said, hi, Fernando, and then, how do you put car audio in your house? Um, so, I've seen it done a couple different ways. Like, for example, like our displays. We have displays in the store. Yep. And how that works is we have Stinger makes a power inverter. Uh, it's like a 60 or 90 amp power inverter. Just go to the uh, Stinger.com. Yeah, and, and, find and that it. power inverter goes to an actual isolator, not a relay. It goes to an isolator, which is a big three pole in a heat sink, giant diode isolator. 
And then between that, there's the display and the battery. And the reason why it does that is because what we want is we have it on a switch. And we flick that switch, it separates the isolator, but when the, when the unit turns off, the isolator shuts off, the battery and the display turns off. So it's something I developed, I don't know, like 20 years ago. Um, but the battery is the key. So, the, you, you know, because the power supply really doesn't have enough power, plus you may get a humming sound to, to power the display. So you have to have batteries. Another guy I saw, mm -hmm. he, dude, he took a DC motor I'm sorry, he took a, an AC motor, like a pool pump motor, mm -hmm. okay, put a pulley on it, connected that to an alternator. Connected that, which Kicker does, by the way, this is what they have set up and when they're testing their amplifiers, they okay. have it like, so you take a, an AC motor with a pulley connected to an alternator, and then the, the motor spins the alternator, yeah. which goes to a battery bank, yeah, and that, that battery bank is what charges, plays the amplifiers because what's missing okay is, so now we're talking about like crazy yeah audio. because the the power supply yeah. you know all amplifiers are created the same yeah. what's missing in a car side is the the power supply because the car is the power supply when you open up a, a an ac amplifier it's got a huge power supply in it to power the amplifier that's what's missing in that's why they have these troy deals that are as big as my head it's so that they can create that power they have to do two things. So you have to create that. So it doesn't make sense. Like there's no cheap way. Like buy, that's the other reason why too, when you go buy like a home audio amplifier and it's like, oh my God, that's expensive. I can get a thousand watts for a car for 300 bucks. That's crazy. No, you can't because you, you don't have the power supply. And by the way, thank you for watching. He's 12 years old and he's watching the channel. Yeah. That's, that's cool. Now there again, the other thing too, is it also depends on how big of an amplifier you get. So mm -hmm. if you have a small amplifier, you don't need a huge power supply, you're okay. So I mean, you, I've seen a guy, that one kid, mm -hmm. uh, he, he ripped he out made, his PlayStation yeah, power yeah. supply and he used that to power up his amplifier because the amplifier only had like a 20 amp draw. Right, right. So you yeah, get a 20 amp that. power supply, put on a 20 amp amplifier, and you're rocking and rolling. There you go. David Monroe, thank you, man, for the $10. I have a question from Paris. Thank you for watching. Um, how to safely tap the speaker output from my amplifier? He's trying to find the connectors, you, but he can't. What do you mean? He's in Paris. I got that. How to safely tap the speaker output from tap my amplifier? Tap the speaker output from, what do you mean? Uh, I'm guessing the factory amplifier. Um, that's it, that's what I have. That's what you're thinking? So uh, like you want thinking. so like to how to tap into a speaker wire to get to another to hook up amplifier, to an amplifier yeah like a sub subwoofer amplifier that's what I'm getting. so what we I mean okay I'm I'm assuming that's what he okay we're gonna go with Fernando's idea here and that what he's talking about is he wants to tap into an existing wire in the car to hook up his amplifier too if that's the case what we typically do is we have wire strippers that strip the wire back so we we put them on and they go like this and they'll strip a little piece of wire. We poke a hole through it, we run the wire through it, we twist it around. At that point, it's up to you as far as what you want to do. You're perfectly fine at that. If you've wrapped it around three times, you can put some tape on it. We also put a zip tie because we live in Florida and it gets like a million degrees and tape turns into just buttered goo. Um, so we put zip ties on them to hold the tape in place cool. as an insulator. Um, and you're done. Or you could add a piece of solder to that, which is our preferred method, but there again, it's up to you. Um, and that's it, that's, that's the safest way if we don't have a plug that we could just unplug and put in a T-harness, that's how we do it. It's like called a military splice or something like that. Right, right. Um, all right, Christopher, $5, thank you. Is there a kicker key to 200.4 enough power for the Kenwood 6x9s with the 3.5 components? Yeah, we've done it. In a Challenger. Oh yeah, we've yeah. done it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it sounds phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Woo, do it. It's good. good. It's we've good. done that one. What did we do that in? It's probably, it was a, I think it was a Dodge. I mean, I, mean, I think it was a Ram. Yeah. But yeah, we've done it. It sounds great. 7 Full p.m., guys. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you. We got like one minute left. Uh, um, I don't think I make a power supply like 50 amp. Yeah, it power is. Power supply? Yeah, yeah, it is. That's, okay. that's, that's their power so supply. So check, check. Uh, Stinger, it's under the Stinger, Stinger brand. Stinger, Stinger Electronics. I have an AC motor running a DC motor and I'm getting 250 amps at 15 volts. It's exactly what I'm talking about. That's crazy. Bye guys, uh, thank it's you. It's a factory amplifier with a quad lock connector instead of an ISO connector. Well, if it's a quad lock connector, just make your own. 
like get get a the connector and make a, a T harness for it. I mean, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Amazon all day long. All right, guys. That brings us to the end of the show. It is Thank you guys so much for show. tuning in. It's Saturday. That means some of you guys are still trapped at home. I'm sorry about that, but you're probably not as in a bad shape as Florida is right now, which is, oh my gosh, there's a spike. No kidding. Everyone's walking around like it's freaking Tuesday Ooh, I lied out. Um, in 1999. Um, be safe, guys. Don't be stupid. You know, uh, you know, if they ask you to wear a mask, wear a mask. What's it going to hurt? Your pride? Your ego? Yep. You don't have either one of those. You're married or you're not. Either way, don't the chicks crazy. dig it. <laughs> they probably do. We want to see you again on Monday. Um, yes. Every day on 5 Minutes with 5 Star on Should Instagram. We do, I think, for the last two days, maybe. Two days. I don't think we did the last two days. Hey, I feel man. bad about that. Crazy. Not really, but I'll get over uh, it. Don't forget to follow Dino Fernando Car Stereo Clips. Follow. Watch it. Leave it in the background. Just keep watching it. Um, Clean Enough. Wire Club. Yeah, Clean Wire Club on Facebook. Yep. Go there. Join. Post your pictures. Uh, make sure they're clean, otherwise you will get ridiculed and it will be taken down. Do you have an, a new picture? I, for I this have week? a new one, yes. Plus, if, you're, if your picture is awesome, you will get to be the picture of the week, which is pretty cool. Everyone gets, when and they come top. to the place, they see you and they're like, oh, that's wow. so pretty. Uh, DNF Tool Drawer is a place you can find all the cool tools that we use. Patreon is a place you go to support the show. And of course, Teespring slash store slash five star is a place you can go and buy t shirts. The 4th of July is coming quick. Make sure you get your your patriotic t-shirt that's right uh, for those of you guys that caught the big d whiz vega talk show 12v talk they both had theirs on this week i'm just saying yeah yeah they were awesome if you do want to see what they look like on two big guys if you want to see what it looks like to own a 3x check theirs out damn that's right um all right guys thank you so much for watching thank you for watching and uh next week is another week we'll see that's you then right. end Bye. the show fernando I think it's in that one on this one. Doesn't matter. Click them both. <laughs>